evening. Good evening, Ingrid. How are you? It's it's okay, teacher. <laughs> I see you kind of relaxed today. Is it me or you are like more No. <laughs> In this moment very relaxed, but <laughs> the the day it was very hard. Oh really? It is more more work. More mucho trabajo, more work. A lot of work. A lot of work. And you, teacher, where are you? Where? I am at home. Eh, eh, se me ha olvidado cómo se dice. What? Say it in Spanish. I will translate for you. ¿Cómo estás? Se me ha olvidado. How are you? Se me ha olvidado. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You can say how are you. You can say how's everything. <laughs> okay, how are you, teacher? <laughs> I'm just fine, just fine. You know, same old story. Let's see. Oh, no, today I have to go to San Salvador to make um, an evaluation on a, on a kill that I'm going to teach in November. Ah. Okay. I need to do a, an exam to that student and I need to evaluate her performance in in the basic skills because it's going to be private classes. Uh, you, uh, do you like the preferred student kid? <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, that kid is 13, but she already speaks English. Uh, I mean, I'm, I am preparing her for, uh, for something else. I used to teach her like when she was like in third or fourth grade like three or four years ago. And now we are going to, to, to get her in another level. She's actually a student at, uh, at UCA. She's studying in, in UCA's Academy, English. Mm -hmm. But her parents want me to, to, to help her, to evaluate her, wanted me to evaluate her and see if she can jump to a, to a different level. Actually, uh -huh. like, like uh, last year, for this time of the year, I was teaching her sister, her older sister. I was preparing her for for a scene. Mm. She was gonna study at the scene, and they needed her to pass the the scene exam. And then they wanted me to help her to get her ready for TOEFL. Uh, the thing yeah. is is obligatory the student knows in no english or well they make you an exam when you get in that exam is going to like a placement test that exam is going to tell if i mean if you pass the exam with a good score you you don't need to course three subjects english one two and three it's out you exonerate and um, then, if you present TOEFL, you exonerate two more uh -huh. because it's by by English. If you yeah. present and if you present a TOEFL right at the beginning, you exonerate the five the five subjects of English. Uh, it's good. Yeah, I have yeah. worked with a couple of kids from there to to help them. I have prepared them for TOEFL and. Up to now, it's been a good experience. Mm. So the moment we are doing good, but it's a, it's a different process. I mean, uh, because the the are, yes, uh, it's true. The the different academy is very good, but I listened the school American school is very good, but I don't know it's only a face famous or i don't know what is the mythology or i don't know mythology methodology well okay. so thank you the teacher. schools the schools are good but it also depends on you i mean you can go to the best of schools but if you don't put your help it's not gonna work yeah and also, I mean, remember also that uh, the teacher's style is also different. Uh, nice. I mean. 
I mean, the style of one teacher can work for you and perhaps the style of another teacher cannot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's, it's nice, it's a good experience. I mean, working and being an, at an academy, it's nice and you get a different experience. In my case, in those situations that I tell you that I, that I work with students one-on-one, -on -one, is because we got a specific mm -hmm. objective. Like uh, I have two kids and they are, I have been teaching them, their brother and sister, I have been teaching them since one year. Mm -hmm. And and we are doing we are doing good. Nah. But the plan of the father is that I'm going to be working with them like perhaps two more years. Two. But and, uh, I think the 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 pain on of the the pain on the student, but the, it, it depends on the student. It depends on of the, the student. student. The student. Well, the student and we as teachers because we need to we need to make the the, the, the effort and, yeah. and something yeah. else is that. We need to be honest because uh, not always, not always, it works for a student to be on a one-on-one -on -one class. Uh. There are some students that I have told them. I mean, I have talked to them and I have talked to their parents and I have told them, no, look, look for an academy. It's going to work better for you. Uh, I mean, okay. yes, of course, it's money for me. And I mean, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, money for me, but but uh, I'll try to. It's better. It's better if you are honest with your student, because yeah. in the end you are going. They are going to realize it's not working for them. And we, as in my specialty and in that type of classes, uh, the recommendation from mouth to mouth, it's a big deal. A big deal. I mean, and you, okay. you need to have you need to have a good uh, good reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so particularly when you when you want to charge higher. I mean, yeah, you need to. You have to. It's nice. I mean, it's nice working like that, and it's a good experience. Hey, Natalia, nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Interesting. Antonio, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I am I'm great teacher. Okay. You, what you, uh, you know, that's what I was telling Natalia. A very interesting day. I went to evaluate a kid. I, last time I saw this kid, she was like seven, eight. Now she's 13. She's a big kid now. And we were speaking in English and a very good experience. Uh, we are going to work with her November, December. It's going to be fun. Okay, teacher, I understand. So I, in my case today, I, I get at home at I five city, but I, I have been preparing a thing since Sunday. Preparing? A paint. A paint. Fence. Oh, a fence. A fence. Yes. Oh, man. Thing. Yes. Yes. Since Sundays. So when oh, I really? when, yes, uh, Sunday I <clears throat> I was working since seven a.m. No, from seven a.m. to three p.m. From 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wow. Yes, and, and yesterday, yesterday, I don't, I didn't, I don't work. I didn't work. I didn't work. I didn't work yet. But today, when after get back home, I, I work. Let me see. An hour. One hour. Okay. Yes, you are you are advancing slowly. Yes, it's slowly. 
slowly but steady. Yes, but steady. Because it's in my, in my, in my house. So it's my thing. Yes, I'm working slow, slowly. Yes. yes, I need to paint my house tomorrow. <laughs> oh, DJ. Yeah, it's difficult. You know, well, I need to make different things because I need to go to the mechanic. Well, I actually need to take one piece to the to the mechanic and one part from the car. Then I need to I need to fix some stuff on the roof. Really? Yeah, I need to go up to the roof and then I have to paint. And wow, I got a lot of stuff for tomorrow. Yes, uh, in my in my house, I there are there are many 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 things that I have to do, but I I work slowly. When I when I have a uh, a free time, I I work. I I like to working in carpentry. Carpentry. Yes, but is. It's like is like my my hobby. Oh yeah. Yes, I don't know it. Yes. So I, I sometimes I make a, a table, uh a chair in two two beds. Oh my gosh, it's not a hobby, man. That's that's a lot. Yes, but is is let me see. The belly for my my son in my in, in for me. The chair, I I don't when when I when was the the pandemic. Oh. During yes. during during, during. pandemic. Oh, okay. yeah, during. I I I don't a, a bed I in the chair. I did it. I did it. Oh. Well, well, it depends. You can say I have done a I oh, okay. have done. I have done a bed and a chair during the the pandemic. Because okay. yes, but it, I I like I like it. Okay, that's nice. Well, interesting. Thank you for sharing with us, Antonio. Welcome. Okay, teacher. Only that. Okay, let's see. Let me get the. Let me get the 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 the, the attendance before we move on. Okay, teacher. Let's see, guys, just a second. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here we go. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Not here. Gabriel Beltran Perez. He's right there. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molin. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Ivania Chamile Domingo Fernandez. Present teacher. Ivette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisette Garcia Lemo. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Um, Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. 
Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelía Echala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areva Ortiz. Present, teacher. Quemar Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Now let's see. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, yeah. Everything is okay. Well, I still got time today. Well, let me tell you about the activities for tonight, okay, before we move on. Uh, well, the first part, we are going to have a little conversation one-on-one, -on -one, then I'm going to send you to have a conversation in groups. After that, we are going to do some, some work in the manual, but it's going to be a little bit different because we are finishing the section number two, the unit number two. So the activities is like a review of the unit. And it's going to be interesting. I mean, we are not going to have conversation from the manual, but we are going to have a couple of exercises to perform because we need we will do a reading comprehension exercise. And that's going to be a little bit long. And after that, we are going to do some exercises, but together, I'm going to share the screen and we are going to solve it together at the same time, okay? It's going to be easy. So let's continue. Let's see, who else? Uh, I could have sworn I saw, Carlos Salivaldo, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, my friend, how's everything? Ready for the class? Uh, yes, teacher. How was your day? Very, very nice, teacher. Okay, excellent. What did you do today? In my... In... Algo job? movido. Oh, really? In Joe. In Joe and... And, and really, really... And... My report and checking my report and my in my sample and treatment and another teacher. Okay. You were busy. Yes. Well, but the good thing is that you are here ready for the class, right? Okay, teacher. What time did you finish working, Carlos? Um, for 40, 44, 45, 40, 45. Oh, 45. oh okay. a quarter yeah. to five, a quarter to five. Okay, quarter to five, okay. Okay, well. It wasn't quiet, that late. What quiet. time did you get home? Mm. Uh, five, five, four, four, yeah. Okay. Mm. It wasn't that long. Not for much. No. Uh, That's nice. Como decir, el tramo es corto. Okay. The, the, it's not a long way. Uh, it's not a long way. Okay, teacher, thank you. Let me see, it goes like this. It goes like this. It's not a long way from my job to my house. Yes, it's not a long way. 
from my job to my house. Yeah, it's, that's cool. That's nice. Well, Carlos, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Luis Albrego, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very well, teacher. I really, really for the class. Okay, are you at work or are you at home? Uh, my my home at home. Oh, that's that's nice. Yes, teacher. yesterday yesterday and in, in my workplace. I, oh yeah, I could I could hear the printer running yesterday. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Um, what time did you get home letter. today? <laughs> Very good, teacher. Yeah, well, well. At uh, what time did you get home? I got us llegó a casa. Um, at uh, seven thirty p.m. Teacher. Ouch! What time yes. did you leave your job? I got us salió. At five five p.m. At five. Two hours and a half. <laughs> the traffic is terrible. Los chorros. Okay. Los burles. And what about tomorrow? What time do you need to 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 wake up in order to be on time in your job? Uh, tomorrow at four a.m. Ouch. Yes. Yes. I arrive at my, my at my work at uh, seven seven thirty a.m. At 7.30 a.m. Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah. Well. Yes. But the good thing <laughs> is that you're at home. <laughs> yes. And yes, you teacher. Can, you relax better at home, right? Yes. Uh, when when I, I, when I'm here in my house. When I am Duermo, at home. I am at my home. I am sleeping uh, better. menos rest, better. Oh, menos. less, menos. Yes. Yeah, of course. Of course, it's different. But, but I mean, <laughs> it's different, right? To be at home, you are more comfortable. Yes. Uh, but how do you say? Yeah, it's a question of costumbre, teacher. Yeah, you get used to it. Yeah, I know, I know, I understand you. <clears throat> I understand you totally. I spent yes. I spent five, no, let's see, four years at a job that I was, I used to come home once a week. I used to come home Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon and I used to go back to work Sunday at 1 p.m. So exactly like 24 hours or 20 hours I was home. Okay. And sometimes I used to come every two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit difficult, but yes, it's part of life. What can we do? Hey, Luis, welcome. <laughs> okay, teacher, pleasure. Luis Mario, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Great here. As usual. Nice ready to see what we're gonna do what about you how's everything uh so so because it was a very stressful day oh really yeah you do you remember that yesterday i said about the one visit oh yeah from uh colombia right uh, yeah this day today, today sorry today the visit continues. <laughs> mm. So I had to reschedule another activities. And for example, to tonight I left my office at 7 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, I understand you. I believe me, I have been with that situation a couple of times in my life and it was uh, terrible. I remember actually, you know, in one of the companies I work, we used every year we had a visit from Colombia, but for the for wow. the ISO evaluation. Oh, nice. 
Uh, no, nice, man. I used to have, I have to present this bunch of paperwork every year. Crazy. Yeah. And usually one, usually it was like this. One month I had the ISO and next month I had another evaluation. Uh, there was always one person coming from Miami. So I had to present everything again. It was crazy. I can imagine and, that. <laughs> yeah, and as you said, it's kind of stressful. Yeah, and, and you had to read a lot of manuals and and documents. Yeah, and I right? have to def and I have to defend all the job from the previous year. I have to present everything from the previous year. And it was funny because we had a platform. I was presenting everything on the platform but they asked me to also have it on paper as a backup. Okay. It was, man, those days were like crazy for me. The, the good part is that you travel to Colombia, right? No, they traveled here. I was here. Oh. They traveled from there to here just to evaluate. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So, <laughs> And the problem is this, that the guy used to come and evaluate the first day and at night we had to entertain that person. We had to take that person for dinner and everything and he was so happy. But after that, I needed to come home, check out the material that I was presenting the next day. Man, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Um, but, um... And how I, is it going? You're doing everything. You're you're presenting everything. Yeah, no, but I have uh, many activities that I will do tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, well, in the morning. Good luck. In the morning good with luck. with priority with priority priority because priority. Sorry priority because I had to do that things today but the time is is very short yeah, we need we need a couple of more hours on the day right yeah a lot, uh, around 48 hours <laughs> yeah I understand well welcome thanks for being here thank you Mr. Chavez, hello, Carlos Chavez. How are you? Hello, no teacher. How's everything? I'm fine, teacher, but a little tired. A really a hard day at work. Mm, so so, but I have a new I a new schedule oh, in really? my work. What's your schedule now? Uh, Six a.m. to one 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 p.m. From 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. And then after that? Uh, I go to I go to home. I, or, or, I went or, or I came. I came, huh? Yes. But uh, I want I, I need to sleep right now. Yeah, the very first days are more difficult. Yeah, it is, it is my first week with the new new schedule. Yeah, I can imagine it's not easy. It's uh, it's nice because uh, in in that schedule, the traffic is very very nice. The street yeah. the street is. Uh, there there are not cars yeah and that's that's good actually yeah well, what about you see, teacher? I mean, me uh, a very very hectic day moving from here to there and preparing everything friday i go back to one to another of my jobs and and my schedule is going to change because I will have to leave my house at five. 
I'll you, be coming back at five. Yeah. Okay, teacher, you 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 are a busy bus busy man. Ah, yeah. A lot to pay, a lot to pay. That's this, that's why. Yeah, 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 I know it. Uh, when I say uh, the, it is a part part of the light or yeah. of the light. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's I mean, I remember I long for the days. Look, look at this expression. I long for the days. I long for the days when I didn't have so many responsibilities. Yeah. And do you understand that expression? I long for the days. Yeah, in this case, we we have a, a sons or child. You have a yeah. daughter and you have a daughter or son. I have a son. My son is twenty years old. You, you are a, you have a single son. Yeah, he's still at home. I am paying for his university. <laughs> nice teacher. Yeah, well, yeah, it's cool, but it's expensive, man. That's crazy. Cada etapa hay que disfrutarla, teacher. Yeah, but I mean, believe me, sometimes paying, it's so hard to enjoy it. A veces el pagar es tan difícil de disfrutarlo. Yeah, I know it, but ni modo, teacher. Yeah, anyway. Anyways, yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Welcome. Okay, Maylin, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, I'm just fine. What about you? How's everything? I don't like this as much. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you quite well. Do you listen? Mm, hello. Hello. How are you? How's everything? Uh, I was very stressed today because two days ago I went I went back to work. Um today I resume the the all activities. Uh, how this how do you say lo que me quedo antes de vacación? Oh, your pendings. Yes, uh, I I resume my pendings. But well, I mean, what can we do, right? So for you today was a long day. Yes, teacher. My boss is very hungry, but uh, I sent the email when the information. <laughs> With the information. Uh, and he is writing, writing him. How do you say me? I'm sorry. I'm losing you, mailing. Perhaps it's the connection. We will talk later. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I still got time a little bit. Veronica, hello. How are you? Well, 
So it's not Veronica. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Oscar. Oscar Armando. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. well, guys, uh, welcome all of you. Uh, there's Lenia, Xiomara, uh, Gabriel, Carla. Welcome all of you, Wilfredo. But uh, right now we need to jump to next activity. And I told you that it was going to be like uh, small conversations. Okay. So almost all of you have been telling me that it's been a uh, a hard day or a stressful day. And I'm wondering, how do you reduce stress in your life? What do you do in order to reduce stress? The activities you do to reduce stress, do you think they will be considered good or bad ways of dealing with stress? It's like some people say, oh no, for we live in stress, I, I eat something. Is that good? Is that bad? Some people listen to music. Some people start watching TV. Some people play video games. Some people need to go and play a sport. Some people walk. Some people just need to be quiet. Some people take a nap. I mean, there are plenty of different situations. So what about you? What do you do when you are under stress? How do you reduce it? Okay. And are those activities, do you think that those activities are good or are they actually bad? Okay, let's see. Now, I have created groups, but let me check on something. Okay. The groups are created. You got seven minutes to talk about those questions. I will be moving from group to group. And when we come back, I will ask a couple of you about those questions, okay? So let's do it, guys. Let's jump in. Hi hey teacher, can you, Always, Mario. Can, you can you send me again in, okay. in a group? I will send you to one group and then I will resend you to your original group, okay? Okay, nice. Did you get the invitation, Ms. Mario? No, I don't know why. Well, actually, automatically you should go. Yeah, the first, the, the first class and second and third, I can, but now, no, I, and I don't know why. Let's see now.
<coughs> Sorry. Did you, did you get the invitation to move? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. En la, en la segunda pregunta que dice, eh, do, you, do you think they will be considered good or bad ways of dealing with stress? ¿Cómo se traduciría eso en español? Okay. Do you think they will be considered good or bad? ¿Consideras que no? ¿Piensas que serían consideradas, o sea, considerarían buenas o malas maneras de tratar con el estrés? Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. Entonces sería, en mi caso, sería, I think, I think it is a good idea. The, the, the verb form uh, is it is may may exercise um, making making play saucer for example or in others other sport yes but watching watching tv is yes I, uh, in my case uh, i I watch TV and and I making making exercise. Yes, but it is is better make uh, exercise. Yes, yes. I prefer make exercise than watch TV. Yeah, you get it? Yes. Okay. And in your case. Verónica or Wilfredo? In my case, okay. <laughs> Verónica? Okay. Uh, in my case, to reduce stress, I like to sleep, paint. Take on my plans, watch series, or visit new new place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real. Okay, in the second sentence. Oh. And oh. do you think they would be considered good, good or bad ways of dealing with? Yes, stress. Mm, I think that are are good. Okay. But sleep, paint, eh, are good pasatiempo. So, no sé cómo se dice. Hobbies. Hobbies. Mm. <coughs> ah. Hobbies. Yes. Good hobbies. Okay. In your case, Wilfredo? In my case, it is uh, really stress um, in my life. Is it sleeping? Sleeping. sleeping. Um, another thing? What? Another thing? Other thing? Apart from sleeping? A, no, couple no, of, no. A, a couple of cold uh, drinks, you know, help. Ah, okay. No, no. Yeah, no, no so about sodas, 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 sodas. Come on, Wilfredo. <laughs> Come on, Wilfredo. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Wilfredo? You know, Veronica is like, oh my gosh, this guy, you know, sodas, sodas. You're very thinking about it, teacher. <laughs> No, says Wilfredo, he doesn't, he doesn't. No, well, you know, to be honest, sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes I buy one or two after dinner, I take it and I fall asleep. Okay, teacher. It, it actually relaxes me like pretty fast. 
Okay, teacher. Uh, let me explain about me. In my case, in my case, I I do exercise after the lunch and after the lunch in my work. Oh, and also, nice. I, yes, and also I play soccer with my coworker. This is when 20 minutes, but I, I have another problem. Because when I when I feel stressed, when I I am driving, I like to drive uh, rapido, fast. And I think this is a, a problem for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't get stressed while driving. Yes, in is in the in the street or, or, or the way is is free. It's a little free the way. Mm. So so I I turn on the radio or, or, or I put music and uh, I play some music. I play okay. some music. I play some music and the okay, I'm album. sorry, I'm sorry. I play some music on the radio. Okay. I play some music, some music on the radio, and, and you and you turn up the volume. Yes, and I con volumen alto. How do you say? Yeah, with high high volume. Uh huh. And I I drive fast station. Okay. Maybe yes, and I think it's a it's a little dangerous or very dangerous. Uh, you gotta be careful. Yes, because but I I feel I feel good when I when I drive fast. Okay, if it works for you, it works for you. I mean, everybody got a different way to to deal with stress. Okay, teacher. Let's go back to the main room. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, everybody's coming back. Let's see. Yep. Is Mario in the end you could work in the groups? Yeah, I I changed my dispositive. Dispositive? Oh okay, yeah, my my gadget. Yeah, only uh, sorry. Now I I am to the computer. From oh, the computer. You're working from the computer. And it's yeah. working better for you. Yeah. Really better. Okay. Device. Device. You can say device. Device. Thank you. Device. Thank you. That's the word you were looking for. Okay, that's nice. I mean, whatever works. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ingrid, how do you deal with stress? What do you do? Uh, sometimes I do uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> uh, I do. I I say relax. relax. <laughs> no, uh, I found the the other things is 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 better. Uh, better benefits. Oh, I think whatever things different, uh, for example, at the work or at the situation is complicated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Veronica, I wonder what do you do in order to get rid of stress? Tell me. Okay, to reduce stress, uh, I like feels sleep, uh, take on my plant, paint, uh, watch series, visit new place and when when I have money, I like buy clothes for and other things to relax. 
Okay, wow. You got many activities. Mm, yes. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Ronica. Let's see who else, who else, who else. Uh, uh, uh. Ivania, what do you do in order to, when you're stressed, what do you do? Um, I have a lot of effort to, to work. Uh -huh. And what do you do when By you're stressed? By taking or, or something personal on time. Okay. Mm, that's interesting. Thank you. Now let's see what about what about what about what about Elwin? Elwin, tell me what do you do when you get stressed? How do you get rid of stress? Hello. Okay. No. I reduce stress by walking in the park, uh, walking from, with my family or playing the game. Okay. Um, I, I think they are good and healthy ways to reduce stress. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a good option. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Luis Abrego, what do you do? No, teacher. Tell me, what do you do in order to get rid of stress? Um, in, my, in my case, teacher, uh, practicing sport, and solving problems and I enjoy with my family. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Spending time with the family. Yes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Let's see. Thank you. Wilfredo, what do you do in order to get rid of stress? Tell me. Wilfredo. Hello. Sorry, sorry, teacher. No problem. But this... What do you do to get rid of a stress? Yes. Um, uh, sleeping teacher and listen music. Listening to music. To listening to music. Okay, what's your favorite type of music? Classic music. Yeah, what's your favorite type of music? In salsa. Oh, nice. Old salsa or the new one? What? The old one or the new one? Oh, old, old one. Oh, one. I need you, teacher. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you, Wilfredo. Good one, teacher. Okay, guys, let me just do a little something. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? I still got time for one more. Salvador Alexander Lopez. Hello. Good evening. 
Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. I am fine. Very well. And tell me, what do you do in order when you are stressed? What do you do to get rid of stress? Okay. Um, I reduce stress and um, watching TV. Watching TV, for example, when I watch um, a good movie, uh, I I feel relaxed. I like I like time travel movies or sci-fi, sci science fiction. Oh yeah, nice. Thrillers, thrillers, for example. And uh, another another way is practice practicing caminata hike. Okay, hiking. Mm. Hiking, uh, practicing hiking. Uh, or cross country. Hello. Hiking is escalar. No, no, coming. In, quería decir caminata. Okay, but in the woods, in the bosques, or in the camp. Yes, right? yeah, for example. Okay, for example. that's cross country. Hello? It's actually a sport. That's cross country. Cross country. Cross country. ¿Me entiendo cruzando el país, uh, dentro del país? No. And the no. thing is this, that the countryside, it's el campo. So cross country. Oh yes, yes, yes. For example, in in volcán Cerro Verde, Cerro Verde, in in hiking uh, Isalco, and I I went I went um uh, Ilamatepec. Okay. Uh, oh. It's, it's, it's relaxing. Um, okay, the, please, the please, Salvador, never invite me, please. Don't you ever invite me. I'm not good at that. Excellent, no, it's good, it's excellent that you do it. And it's, it's actually a good exercise also. But man, yes, yes. I wouldn't do it. No way, Jose. I don't like it. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see okay. next activity. Well, before we jump into next activity, I'm sorry, I will get the attendance right now because the next activity, it's going to be a little bit long. So let me get the attendance. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Ivania Chamile Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Thank you. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Salvador Alexander López García. Present teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you guys. Now let's see next activity. The next activity is this, look. And uh, let me share with you.
Okay, we got us staff and schedules. We from your manuals, from the Instafor manual in page number 27, we got staff and schedules. Okay, read the following schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event. So we got 9:30 a.m. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. 9:40 a.m. Walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all coolers and freezer. 9:50 a.m. Create a schedule for servers and bussers with chores that need to be done in their shift individually. Bossers. First word. Okay. A bosser is the guy or girl who in a restaurant is with a little chart, who's in a little chart and taking the dishes. Okay. The one who cleans the, the, the table and take the dishes, that's a dish bosser and the activity is to boss the activity is to boss dishes okay the name of the activity is to boss dishes and the person is a dish bosser okay so that's why they say bossers Go back. Uh, servers start to clock in 10 a.m., 10, 10 a.m. Turn on all the lights and sound system. 10, 30. Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees and we talk about what their schedule short for the day. 10, 50 a.m. Everyone clocks back in. That's the same as saying check in and start working again. 10.55 or 5 to 11, open the front door and turn on the open sign. 11 a.m., go to the kitchen and check temperatures so ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. Temperature, temperatures of ready to eat foods. This expression, comida que está lista para comer, solamente de servir, okay? 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Greet guests, saludar a los huéspedes. Run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. Okay, 2 p.m., clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in charge. 4 p.m., clock in, break is over. 4.05, check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezer temps. 4.10 p.m., Make schedule for second shift, servers and bossers. Kitchen help cook handles his team. Okay, the help cook, el cocinero en jefe, handles his team. Now, this expression, handle. Handle is when you give something to another person from your hand to the other hand. Dar en la mano. But also when you handle your team, it's, uh, you are in charge of your team. You decide what the team does. Okay, that's to handle your team. Four thirty p.m. Second shift staff start to clock in. From five to nine p.m. Greet guests, talk to people, etc., etc. Don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part-time cashier in the clock from five to nine. That way, I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m., we start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. 10 p.m., turn the open sign off and lock the front door. 10.10 10 p.m., enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Okay? Now, let's see. This is the vocabulary we are going to work in okay this is the whole schedule what are we going to do guys what we're gonna do is this you need to tell me here look you read the following schedule of the restaurant and write the time so we are going to re write the time for each activity here in some of those activities they are done more than once so you write the two times okay Las que se hacen más de una vez, usted le pone las dos horas. Okay, that's the activity we are going to do. So, 
how we're gonna do it. We're gonna work in group in groups. I'm going to send you right now the the first part where you got all the info, and then I'm going to send you the just the questions. Okay. So I just sent you the same, the first part. Let me get you into the groups. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, groups are open, five minutes. Rosalina. Hi, teacher. Excuse me. <laughs> you didn't okay. get into the group? Yeah, if you want. You are I, I don't I don't listen what you're talking about before, but okay, I'll send you to a group right now, okay? Let's see, Carla, you cannot participate today, right? Hola. You cannot participate today, right? No puede participar hoy. No. Okay, I'll send you just as a listener to another group, okay? Okay. The same goes to you, Gabriel.
Okay, let's see. Let's go check some words. Drone of the light. A uh, sound system. I think the ten ten a.m. Uh -huh. la, la hora. Uh -huh. I put the hour. Uh -huh. The the next make the special pro, for the second chief and the forty ten pa pm. Uh, say make a schedule for second chief. The number four, I don't know. Open the back kitchen kitchen door. Open the bar. Open the back. Open from. Esto teníamos que hacer, Beatrice. To watch the, to write the time. Uh -huh. Open the back Finish. kitchen. No, uh, I. How do you say fault? No falta. We are missing. We are missing three three structure three. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. Don't do inside work. I don't know, Ivania, one possibility no, or oh, Edwin. Ah, no, 10, 10 p.m. Open side. The, the finally, the number six is the 10, 10 p.m. PM. Yeah. Say no, no, 10, 10, 10, p, 10, 10 PM. Open. The numbers, the numbers. Open. Five. Uh huh. Um, nine, eh, nine, treinta, cosa que se. Nine, thirty. Nine, thirty. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. And number four, open the back kitchen door. Open the back. The back. Abre la puerta de la cocina. Open the back. Okay, let's just wait a minute. Okay, let's see.
Let's see, let's see, we're waiting for everybody. There they come. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, check the temperature at the kitchen. At what time do you do that? Guys, hello, it's open. Anybody? Teacher, I am 90, 40. 90, 40? 11, 11. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Yeah, check the temperature. It's something that you do at 11 a.m. It says, go to the kitchen and check temperature of ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. Yes. Okay, yes. that's nine. But you do it at 11 a.m. and at 4.05 p.m. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. good, good again, again, uh-huh. I told you, if, if an activity is performed twice, you are going to tell me both times. Turn on the lights and sound system. What time do you do that? 10, 10. 10, 10, yeah. Okay. 10, yeah. Perfect. Make the schedule for the second shift. 4, 10. Or, I think. 4, 10 p.m. At 4, 10 p.m. Perfect. Make schedule, servers and buzzers. Okay. <clears throat> now, open the back kitchen door. 9.30. Uh, 9.30. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. A.M. Ah, A.M. You gotta be uh, safe. 9.30 A.M. Do inside work. Oh. I have confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, and turn on the open sign. 10.55 A.M. 10 55 a.m. Okay, guys. Now we go to uh we're gonna do a short conversation activity working as group because after that we go to uh, next activity from the manual. Okay, we're going to be like jumping from one activity to the other one. Okay, so let's see. Do you know what is to procrastinate? Do you know what is procrastination, guys? Procrastination, when you postpone everything, you have something to do today and you say, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. You have something to do in the morning and you say, ah, I'll do it in the afternoon. When you postpone, okay? That's procrastination. Now, I got four questions for you. Okay. And the questions are this one. Why do people procrastinate? What do you think? Why do people procrastinate? Then who do you know that always procrastinates? When it is good to procrastinate? When is it really bad to procrastinate? You got four different questions. Now, how you're going to work this activity. Usually yeah, we ask and answer the question. Now, I want you to work as a group and each one of you answers a different question, okay? Like in group number two is Ingrid. Ingrid got the first question, Ivan got the second, Ivania gets the third, Carlo gets the fourth. Or if not, you get like somebody gets two, the other one gets one, but I don't want you to be answering the same question, okay? I want you to get different one. Got it, guys? Okay, the groups are open. Let me see. Okay. Five minutes.
Hola, sí. No sí. sé si me escuchan a mí. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Nice. I want to the last question. Oh. Ok, you got the last question, Miss Mario. Rosalina, which question are you going to answer? Creo que no copiaron las, las preguntas. No, oh, ok. Let me, share them in the group. Let me share them in the group. Oh. Ok, ok, ok. There Please, teacher. Ok, Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, teacher. Each one of you answers a different question. Cada uno escoja una pregunta y la contesta para el grupo. Okay? So you are not going to answer all the, the same questions. No se la van a preguntar todas, sino que one. One per person, okay? Teacher, you sharing for WhatsApp, please. I just did. Lo acabo de hacer. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys, just two minutes to meet and we come back.
Okay, okay, we are just waiting for your classmates. Let's see, everybody's coming back. Now. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who is it going to be, Antonio? Are you there? No, perhaps not. Oh, there, there's Antonio. Sorry. Sorry, teacher. No problem, no problem, Antonio. Okay, teacher. Let's see, tell me, Antonio, what was your question? Okay, uh, I, wa I was thinking uh, about the, the first question. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> Tell me the and question I, and your answer. Okay. Why do people procrastinate? Uh huh. What do you think? I, I think that, that sometimes the, the people procrastinate because um, they, they have a problem with the time. Okay. And another, another, another thing can be when the when the things or or the problem that depends that another person <coughs> not depends no. only for example not depends only <laughs> only me it's not to depend of the another person too okay interesting yes. thank you yes veronica what about you Mm, for me, the people procrastinate when when they are very tired or when the work is difficult, and when when we have much time or bastante tiempo. A lot of time. Uh, usually. Uh, we do the homework or work the last day. Okay, we leave it until last. Okay. Okay, perfect. Interesting. Now let's see, Ivania, which was your question? ¿Cuál era su pregunta? Okay, let's see. Perhaps Ingrid, can you help us? Hi. Hi. Which was your question? What was your question? Um, when is really bad to procrastinate? Okay, when? When is it? What do you think? It's, it depends. No, no, no. When it's really bad to procrastinate, uh, it's bad when when have the responsibility, when have more more activities or more a lot of uh, work, or uh, or when they are very busy. When they are very busy and when they have a lot of work. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, 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 Rosalina, what's your opinion? What's your question and what's your opinion? Excuse me, uh, I don't have a, a question informal because I, I, I answer the last. And the, but okay. for me, when it's really bad to procrastinate, for example, for, for example, when you need to, you expect somebody come and call you and say, okay, I stay in five minutes, in 15 minutes, but the, the other people take more time, relax, and you stay waiting about 45 minutes and so forth. I think it's, it's because the other people have, has, have, have habits 
I, I don't know you understand me the topic yeah i got you i'm trying don't to worry. explain <laughs> okay don't worry don't worry no actually it's okay yeah let's see luis mario what about you my question was uh, the last one okay uh, when is really bad to procrastinate and i think when you have too many important things to do and you have free time and you prefer to do nothing okay interesting it's like a personal decision right yeah you decide it's, like whatever it's about the uh, how to say discipline discipline yeah discipline, discipline. and responsibility yeah. yeah okay thank you let's see and last one just one more let's see mailing what you got hello uh, my question is why do people procrastinate? Uh, uh -huh. I think it depends because some people maybe feel uncertain or fear caused by carrying of dust. Okay. Um, that's it. I guess. <laughs> okay, I think okay. if, if you don't feel okay when when sometimes with sometimes uh, you you may be um deja las tareas para después procrastinate okay procrastinate okay perfect no thank you let's see <laughs> Next activity. Okay, guys, extra grammar practice. We are in page number 28 from your manual. It says, complete the sentences with the simple present form of the verbs in parentheses. So number one is Jeff, work. You gotta choose which is the correct form. Jane and Pete, you got the verb clean. Mark, not take. So you got affirmative, negative, simple present simple present tense okay guys so what are you going to do do the sentences we are going to be together working as a group three minutes is enough for this exercise so it's not going to be a lot and i'm going to send you to the groups three minutes it's an easy easy exercise for you at this level it won't take you that much okay Questions before I send you? No? Okay, I'm going to be sending you also the, the, the screenshot. La S parece, va. Sí, porque esto es la persona. De uh -huh. uh, Yes Works. From yes, say I am. From. Sí, say I am. Bien, ahí, Pit. Es clean. Clean. Uh -huh. Clean. 
Y la tres, Mark doesn't take. Doesn't take. Restaurant. Open. Our restaurant opens. Opens. Our boss spends. Our boss spends. We don't close on Saturday. We don't know close. Hmm? With us no close. Or we don't, no close. We don't close. We don't know. No, we don't. Just give a year not. Don't. Oh, aha, uh -huh. we don't know. Do not. La otra, they expect. To have more clients to speak. They expect to have more clients this week. Sixty seconds, guys. Come back. Finish? Did you finish, Veronica? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Let's just wait. Everybody's coming back right about now.
Okay, guys, let me share with you. And let's see. Okay, number one, let's see, let's see, but just give me a second, who's gonna help me? Okay, Antonio, you got number one. Please read the whole sentence for me. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, perfect. Works. Excellent, Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number two goes to Carlos Elibaldo. Okay, teacher. Jay, Jenny, or Jenny, I pit to clean the table every day. Okay, in this case, it's just like this, look. Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. You don't change nothing because when you talk about Jane and Pete, you are talking about they they clean the tables every day okay okay now let's see mm -hmm. oh Xiomara, you got number three Xiomara. no teacher which one number three three Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. You told me Mark doesn't take. Orders on Wednesdays. That's perfect. Luis Abrego, you got number four. Okay, teacher number four. Our restaurant restaurant opens from nine at to ten p.m. Okay, our restaurant opens. opens. You're right, because mm -hmm. in this case the subject our restaurant <laughs> it it yes. opens. Perfect. Wilfredo, yes. number five. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Perfect, Wilfredo. Spends. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Okay, Oscar, you got number six. Teacher, we don't know clothes on Sundays. Okay, perfect. We do not close on Sunday. Or we can make it contracted and say we don't close on Sunday. Perfect. Number seven goes to, 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 to let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 hmm. <coughs> Veronica, number seven. And they expect to have more clients this week. They expect to have more clients this week. Okay, perfect. Sorry. Okay. That's just perfect, guys. Days. Number one, Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number two, Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. Our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. And we don't close on Sundays. They Expect to have more clients this week. Perfect. Now, next exercise. We still got time. Oops. Let me see. 
Okay, you have to write sentences using the words in parentheses. Okay, you need to write sentences. Now, this activity, you are going to do it as follows. You are going to work in groups. You are going to write the sentences, but as it is six sentences and you just have five minutes, I recommend you divide the sentence. Okay, you get them together and you send me one per group to the WhatsApp group. Okay, one per group to the WhatsApp group. Any question? Please don't forget to send them because I'm going to be checking and correcting, okay? I will correct right now. As soon as we finish, I will correct and send the corrections. So if there are any, if not, we're perfect, okay? So five minutes for this activity. Hello. Hello, Salvador. What happened to you? Okay, this is my group. No. This is the main room. I will send you to another group. Perhaps there was a problem. Okay. The apple always of <laughs> for for example, I always move move tables at pickup or on pickup, no say. For example. <laughs> what do you think, teacher? <laughs> what do you think? Make sense? I always move tables on a pickup. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's okay. Move tables on a pick. Okay, who is the second? Shane Bell. Tell them. She, she she seldom the, the restaurant seldom change the menu the menu the restaurant or you can say you can say or oh, restaurant seldom change uh, the menu. Oh, right. Yeah, nuestro restaurante eh, seldom, se recuerdan el significado, es como... Um, rara. Rara, es... Sí, rara vez, o algo así. Yeah, remember, uh, those ones are not, like, specific. It's an average. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, Apple or Google. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Google rarely. Rarely. Higher, rarely. 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 Okay, Google rarely hire new employees. The new employees. Hires. 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 The new employees. Okay. Hello. Okay, guys, don't forget to send me your sentences, please, so I need to check them. Don't forget, you gotta send them to me. Okay, let's see. Well, the time is almost over. Let's make a small review. And uh, remember in this unit, we have worked with a little bit of grammar. We watch a uh, simple present. Well, also we watch uh, can, can. Besides that, uh, the adverse of frequency, that's something that we have been covering up to now in the module. And remember that for today, we'll do the, the midterm. If you haven't finished the midterm guys, please do it. That's for tonight. If you cannot, and if you do it later, let me know. Sorry. So I can, my bad. So I let's can you. update. Thank you guys. Let's Thank you. So I can update my, my, my cheat. Okay. So, and well, that's it. Let me get the final attendance so you can go to rest. I know that it's been a long day and as you, some of you told me, it's been a stressful, right? 
Let's see. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Thank you, Luis Mario. Maylin Shannon Manzano Montoya. Present. Thanks. And Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelia Echala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. En Carlos Josué Chávez. Hey guys, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for the effort. I know it's been a hard day for many of you. Hope to see you tomorrow. Try to be on time. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. Okay. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, Oscar.
Veronica, you were supposed to be here tonight. What happened to you?
Oh, I'm stopped. Tomorrow.